Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. I'm Ryan. I'm a data scientist. I've been playing with data over 15 years. Today, I'm going to share one of my projects. It's about using machine learning for fraud detection. Research by ACFE found that the typical organization loses 5% of revenues each year to fraud. So fraud detection is very important to any organization. However, the traditional fraud detection approach heavily rely on sampling, can only find a few cases, and the rule base cannot handle fast changing fraud types. It also adds slowly. That's why I come up with the idea to use machine learning for fraud detection. In the sense, we can analyze 100% of transactions to find all potential frauds, and learning and predict new types of fraud, plus identify frauds in seconds. Let's take a look at the project background. Data come from a global 500 company. Their internal audit department conduct a fraud detection project on sales process in 2019. Let's take a look at the data profiling. Uh, this is the total sales per day. The number up and down change dramatically. And this diagram is about the distribution of invoice amount. It's not normal distribution. There's a long tail. Therefore, with such this type of data, if we we just use simple method like analyze the outliers of amount to detect fraud, it doesn't work. We must use more powerful approach such as machine learning. Here's the data I got: over thirty thousand invoices and over two hundred thousand rows. Just so you know, uh, each invoice have multiple items. But there are only 11 fraud transactions being identified. This is very normal for a fraud detection project. However, this is a big challenge for machine learning project because this is imbalanced data. Uh, fraud and non-fraud is very imbalanced. And it also unable data because except these fraud transactions, the rest doesn't mean they're all good transactions just means we don't know because this is come up from a sampling. To adjust this issue, I apply some strategies and technologies. First, I use active learning, which can help uh, add more label records. And during the feature engineering stage, I use multi to freedom uh, and balance the data set, uh, flow and non flow records. I during the training uh, stage, I try to use the different algorithms and compare with their results. Last, I try to leverage the uh, different types of machine learning outcomes. Let's talk about the active learning. I use that 11 fraud transactions with some sampling uh, transactions fit into a simple model. And then I use this model to predict the rest of the uh, transactions. Of course, the result is was so so there's a lot of uncertain transactions so i pick up top 200 uncertain transactions send back to the auditor to review and make the judgment whether they are fraud or not and with their return data i retrain the model the model become better nowadays active learning is not that popular for machine learning project because it involves some heavy manually work uh, to check However, this is super fit for fraud detection because the auditor wouldn't just rely on the digital result to make the judgment only. They will have some offline work to uh, reveal and make the decision whether there's fraud or not. So the algorithm helps them to pinpoint those high-risk transactions and their feedback actually how the algorithm improve. These two are the most performed algorithm. One is a random forest. The other is deep learning. You see their uh, scores are very close, but deep learning score a little bit better. However, random forest can give me more information about which features contribute more to the final result. So I will suggest my customer use both algorithms together. Furthermore, the machine learning outcome not only yes or no 
uh, flaw for transaction. It actually can identify the probability of flaw. Take a look. Some are high. Some are, for example, this 49% probability of flaw. We identify this is not non-flaw. However, even this transition is not flawed transition, but it might already broke some rules. That means risk. So I actually group this probability and get the average score. For example, I group by branch and month. Then I can conduct this risk heat map to show each branch uh, how they're facing the risk. I call this quantified risk heat map. For future development, the idea is to maximize the value for enterprise because fraud detection usually just beginning. After the module deploy, we can do fraud prevention and we can let the model run real time to monitoring the transition and red flag those high risk. And also we can conduct this quantified risk heat to show to the management about uh, how they, how their company is running to provide assurance. So here's my presentation. All the source code for this project can be found in my uh, GitHub repository. Any questions, just feel free to ask me. Thank you very much.